Welcome back. Excitement on the tour because there has been a murder. Or, well, at least we found two dead guys. And, um, they, their throats appear to be uh, slit. More than just slit from the looks of it. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out what happened to these poor fellows. They look familiar, don't they? Hmm. Anyway, although it was Grace on the tour that discovered the bodies, we are back to Gabriel now, of course. And there are a number of things I need to do in uh, the beginning of this chapter that I need to do very, very quickly with basically split-second precision. None of them are necessary, but if I don't do them, you will be missing some points, um, or at the very least a few conversations. And there is every chance that I will not get this right the first time I try it. Not that you'll be able to tell, because if I don't get it right, I'll um, cut the failed attempts out. I'm not sure if this was always so incredibly touchy, or if it's because I'm running this on a much faster computer than what was available when this game came out. But, unless you know that you can see all of these conversations, it's very likely that you're not going to get all of them in the, the first time you play this. What is it? Prince, James's men, we, we just found their bodies. Where? The Devil's Armchair. The tour group found the bodies? Yes. Did you notice anything suspicious about people's reactions? Let me see, let me see. Everyone seemed pretty surprised. But particularly Lady Howard. It was quite a performance now that I think about it. Hmm. I'll go check it out. Can I come? It might be more productive if you stay here and keep an eye on things. You don't mind, do you? No. I guess that would be smart. a girl. I'll be back soon. Be careful. I guess the game designers don't want to have to deal with both of them at the same time. Okay, first thing I need to do is use the glass. Of course, if you, I think if you did not spot Emilio listening in on your earlier conversation, you would not um, have the glass, so you wouldn't be able to do this. Which again does not make the game unwinnable, but it does make things less clear. By the way, this count is pausing the game, so that's why I'm not concerned about the time right now. First, listen on Madeline's door. Is She's talking to somebody, probably on her cell phone, but she's being pretty quiet about it. I can't make it out. It also sounded like French, so it doesn't really matter. Next, Lady Howard and Estelle. No, I can't help it. You don't understand how sensitive I am. No one understands. Just try to put it out of your mind. Oh, I feel nothing. Or a director, perhaps. No, I'm an artist. I have trained myself for years to empathize and still empathize. It's a gift, I tell you. I understand. No, you don't. The pain, I feel it right here. Oh, the sight of the throat, Estelle. Now comes the tricky bit. First talk to Wilkes. 
Hey, Wilkes. Night. You missed the tour this morning, didn't you? Slip in. Yeah. Well, you never believe what happened. We was going to see this armchair, right? And we comes up over the hill and blam! I heard. Shit. You should have seen it, mate. Worst gun thing I ever saw. And I've seen some things. I bet. They was just sitting there. These gashes across their throats like big red smiles or something. It was horrible. Throats cut? That's right. Say, why don't you take a load off, have a drink? No thanks, but I appreciate the info. Yeah, no problem. Next in there. I think if you manage to click it, it'll work. And someone is making a call that you have to record. Vorrei parlare con il Ministero degli Affari Esteri. Padre Grenna. Sono Padre Bughelli. Come stai? Bene, molto bene. Sì, sono ancora qui. Si sono verificati degli avvenimenti straordinari. Si sono stati degli omicidi. Due uomini. Li ho visiti proprio io, questa mattina. Non ne ho la più pallida idea, ma penso che sia importante. Non sembravano gente del posto. Non saprei. Di razza bianca, probabilmente degli europei. Ah, avevano la gola tagliata, ma non c'erano tracce di sangue. No. Non credo proprio, ma cercherò di ottenere ulteriori informazioni. Questa è per ora la prima indicazione di attività, sia che sia anche con lei. Arrivederci, padre Gren. Sounds like he's making notes. Quickly leave the room. Okay, I actually made that in one attempt. Maybe that because I'm recording the timing is a little bit less severe. Yeah, it does seem like it, because otherwise he would have come out of the room immediately. Which is uh, nice for me, makes it a bit easier. Normally when I do this without recording, it is extremely hard to talk to Wilkes before Bukeli comes out of the phone room. It's also extremely hard to um, leave the phone booth before Bukeli does. And if you don't manage that, you don't see this bit. Bukeli, over here. Ciao. It was a most interesting tour, no? You said it. I needed to drink myself. Fortification. Care to join me? See, si. My ramparts too <laughs> are a trifle crumbly at the moment. Funny how things work out. Thought today was going to be my lucky day. How's that? Oh, yes, of course. Weren't you planning to try to, como se dice, consolidate your theory today? That's right. I'm ready to go digging. Of course, I still will. But this takes the steam out of my victory a bit. It's certainly upsetting. Uh, do you have any idea who those two men were? Not a frigging clue. You? I'm afraid not. Well, here's to our health. Better them than us. That's thinking positively, signore. Okay. Now that um, Bukeli is here, it's no longer possible to talk to Wilkes, I think. I don't think I'll get much out of those two, not with the stuff they are sipping. Which is why you absolutely have to do that before he comes out of the booth. You can do that either before or after listening to the telephone conversation. In terms of the timing, I found it easiest to um, talk to Wilkes first and then quickly enter the phone booth, then try to go in the phone booth first, first and try to uh, talk to Wilkes before Bukele comes out, after you've heard the phone conversation. But either way works. 
If you're still in the phone booth when Bukele leaves, then you won't see the two of them joining up. Although, that one does not give you points, so that just misses you a conversation, but not any points. And I think I got everything, yes. I got all the points I'm supposed to have at this point. So that's nice. But it does seem that the timing was not as severe as it normally is for me, because Fraps is slowing things down a bit. Had the same thing with the binoculars, which usually go way too fast, but were now quite manageable. Talking to Wilkes first also helps you avoid another one of the pitfalls here, which is that if you go straight from the staircase to the phone booth, you will pass too close to Jean, even if you move the camera there first so you don't actually see that, and Jean will interrupt you. And if that happens, it becomes almost impossible to get to the booth or talk to Wilkes before um, Bukele comes out. The whole thing is just rather annoying, but anyway. None of this is really required, but um, like I said, you do miss points and you um, miss some information that helps you understand what's going on. Okay, but now that that's all over with, we can talk to Jean. Monsieur Knight? <gasps> Did you hear the news most horrible? They say... They say at the armchair they find two dead bodies. Oh, I shudder to think on it. Oh. It does kind of suck, doesn't it? Oh, monsieur, you so mildly are putting it. I am a relief I saw no such thing. And lucky for you, monsieur, that you stay at the hotel this morning. Uh-huh. I have a way of missing the boat. Is that all you've heard about it? Oh, who could talk of such things? The guests, I believe they are all most traumatized. Maybe not all of them. Okay, well, uh, Jean's kind of upset, but who can blame him? We've got most of the people who are on the tour, except for Mosley. Let's see if, if he's in his room. And, of course, the Abbé. Um, okay, I'm taking the long way around, but who cares? As is Gabriel, it seems. Okay, I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Um, you could ask him about the murder, because he's a police officer and stuff. Okay, apparently we can't do that. I don't think he's here anyway. That leaves the Abbe. And there's two places he usually hangs out at. Which are the church, but I happen to know he's not there. So he's at the other place he usually hangs out at, which is the um, Tour Magdala. Bird watching again, I'll bet. Let's see. And indeed, as I predicted, by the foreknowledge of having played the game before, um, he is up here. He sure is fond of this view. You don't think he could be, uh, oh, looking for something, do you? Sure seems like it. Let's ask him about the dead guys. Good afternoon, Abbe Arnaud. How was the tour? Surely you have heard, Mr. Knight. Heard? My goodness, man. We found two men. That is to say, the entire tour group stumbled upon... Well, two men have been brutally murdered. Huh. You are not surprised? Well, should I be? I don't know what you mean. You ever meet these two men? No, never. And you don't know who might have, uh, you know... You toy with me. You have heard. I don't appreciate your games, Mr. Knight. Well, I'm not much for games myself. Then let us terminate this discussion, eh? It has been a most trying day as it is.
Yeah, I know he's lying, but maybe I should let him stew for a while. Indeed, we know uh, he's lying. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a murderer or anything, or has anything to do with that. Who knows? Certainly not I. Okay, that has all the suspects um, accounted for, or all the tour group members anyway. And I guess we should try and check out the um, scene of the crime. Oh, I forgot there's a scene division here. Which means we have to get on the I'll road again. I'll go get the Harley. All right, and the murder uh, occurred at the Devil's Armchair, which is here, added to our map now, as is the uh, Chateau de Serre, by the way, as well as Poussin's tomb. So that's all the locations that the tour visited accounted for. And the um, armchair of the Devil, Le Fauteuil du Diable, is over there, but another easy to miss thing here is tire tracks. There are some tire tracks in the dirt. Indeed, there are. Is there anything we can do with that? Make a note of it. I can't get enough detail from the tracks in the dirt. Hmm. Well, maybe we should follow them. See where they lead. And they lead to the carves of King James's men. That's the car Prince James's men arrived in. Well, since they're the ones who were murdered here, that's perhaps not so strange. That's the car, Prince James. Okay. Mallory and McDougal could have parked the car here, but I don't know why they'd bother to hide it. It's more likely that the killers stashed it here. Maybe they grabbed Mallory and McDougal somewhere else and brought them here to be... executed. If that's the case, then it might help to know where they've been. So we do I can't get enough detail from the tracks in the dirt. We do want to get the tire profile. We can't get it from the tracks. Maybe we can get it from the tires. Those are the tires that made those prints out by the road. I'd like to know where old Mallory and McDougal went last night. Maybe tire tracks like these would help if I could compare the tread. So let's take the... Um profile of the tires. Neat. It's the tire tread from Mallory and McDougal's car. I sure would like to know what Mallory and McDougal did last night. Maybe I'll see some tire tracks out in the valley. We'll keep an eye out for it, in any case. For now, let's go and check out the scene of the crime, which is across the road. Something do Diable. Oh, armchair of the devil is what it means. That's what it says. Ah, that's where Mosley is. No, well, it makes sense, I guess. Wow, pretty damn grim. Christ! Did you do that on purpose? Not at all. So what the hell's up with this? I'm guessing these are Prince James' men. Am I right? 
Yeah, for once. Oh, so how'd they end up grinning with their larynxes? Um, okay. We have to pick who we think um, is a likely candidate to be the um, murderer here. It's either the Abbe, say you don't know it, kidnappers or vampires. Well, maybe it could be vampires. Could be vampires. Yeah, not the kind What's-His-Face wrote about. That would be Stoker, Bram, Stoker. Thank you. Not the kind Stoker wrote about. Take a look at these guys. I guess we will take a look at these guys in the next video.